Hi everyone, I'm Tam from Choose Big Change. I am a coach and creative, and I am the creator of the Magic Makers Planner and Playbook. And I thought now would be a good time to give a little more instruction about how to use the meat of your planner uh, for a month, okay? So we're gonna look at May of this year and help you understand how to use it more carefully. So first of all, you have your month at a glance on the colorful divider tab. But then, at the beginning of the month, you have a, a goal setting page. So, uh, goal setting can be a tricky business, and what I've allowed for is your little wimpy goal that you expect to achieve a place for you to write your BHAG, your big, hairy, audacious goal, and then your actual target goal, which is something in between these two. In here, you want to write your nice midline goal that makes you a little bit scared, but kind of more excited. Like if I get that goal, it's gonna be awesome, but you're not so wigged out that you can't move and you're frozen with fear. Once you have your target goal, you can write about it up in here. And you always want to write your goals with an I am kind of statement. So let's say your goal was to increase your sales or your income by 20%. Then up here, you might write, I am so happy and grateful that I am earning more than 20% uh, over last month. You write an I am statement that makes sense right up in here. Then color the page, enjoy your time being in the energy of that goal, of using some visualization processes. You want to engage with the goal. Now, every single week you have a two page spread that looks like this. You have one for actual scheduling and you have one page over here for your list making. Now, let's start here with the list making. First thing you wanna do is uh, decide what needs to get done. You're, you have a place here for work. If you're an entrepreneur, then it's all of your tasks relative to your home business. If you're employed by somebody, then it's uh, projects you're working on for that, or perhaps it's uh, things that you need to do uh, relative to your home part-time business. And then you have your play, and these were these are anything that are really like more life and more fun, like um, incorporate some self-care, get a massage, get my nails done, uh, try that new recipe, exercise for 20 minutes three times a week, whatever those play type things are, go here. In the bottom is a place for magic. Now, we all have things that we want to achieve that we have no idea how we're going to achieve them. Those kinds of ideas go down here. And we have questions written into your planner that you can use to start activating universal energies in the quantum field that you hadn't thought about using before. This question happens to be, how could I reconnect with my goals with ease and happiness? What a great question to dwell on. How can I reconnect with my goals with ease and happiness? You might post it on a sticky note and dwell on that question when you're driving to work. Or you might have that question and think about that while you're running that day, if you're a person who does running or biking. You activate the energies of the universe in the magic section by dwelling on that question. And you might have written down in there, attract three new people to my business this week. Maybe you don't know how you're gonna do that, but you put it in this section about magic here, and then allow the universe to kind of make that happen for you. Your job is to show up and just follow the energy. And that's a pretty big discussion we could have at another time. Okay, so now you've made your list, you know what needs to get done over here. The next piece of the puzzle is to go into your actual scheduler and put things into your week. This planner is broken into AM and PM and you simply decide what goes where from your list. So I like to work in blocks of time. So I know for me, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday is coaching time. 
So I only put coaching appointments into those times. On the other hand, I know that it's really important that I do a morning magic routine. So every morning on my schedule is a block of time for me to do morning magic. Exercise is outlined in the afternoon for me. I also block off things for times for uh, reach outs for my network marketing business. I have a block of time specifically set every single week for reach outs for my business. I have certain set nights that are actual event nights. Those are nights that I feel comfortable um, scheduling an event. And I, I stay within these constraints, these boundaries. I've decided so that I can manage life and work well that I will only do parties on X, Y, or Z days during the month. This allows my husband to create a schedule, my kids to know where I'm at, <clears throat> and kind of keeps me from being all over the place all the time. So every, you can go ahead and block off every day that you're gonna do reach outs right in your calendar. Every day that you're gonna exercise, put it right in your calendar, load your calendar, so that you know ahead of time what you're going to do. Now, I do that process at the be beginning of every month. If, if May 1st falls midweek, which it does, it falls on a Tuesday, then I would probably, on the Sunday before, load my month so that I know exactly what's coming up for me. And then every week on Sunday, I go ahead and I, I preload my list making Thing. I sit down on a Sunday and I go, okay, this, 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 and this has to happen in business. This, this, and this has to happen in my home life. And I could use a little magic and I write something in there. I do that every single week. Now let's see, we've progressed through our weeks and it's time to go into, oh, the, um, the review of the month, but let's let's skip a, a moment here and talk about the wins. Every single day when I do my morning magic routine, I go in and I write a win. I write about the day before and I reflect on what really happened, what did I do, what did I accomplish yesterday that is worth remembering. It might be that uh, I went out and played with the dog when I really needed to get outside and break my habit of sitting at my desk for too long. So I wrote, I played with my dog. Uh, maybe I booked tickets to an amazing concert later this summer. I might put that there. Maybe I had a killer session with a client of mine. That definitely goes in the wins. You want to develop a habit of collecting wins, things that go right in your world, okay? Do that daily. It's in the back of your um, of the month. Now the next piece of the puzzle, it's month end, we're saying it's like May 30th, May 31st, the month is done. You're gonna do your month end review. And there's an entire process for the month end review that I've already done a video about, so I'm not gonna do that here. I'll, uh, I'll make a note, I'll make a link to that video somewhere else and you'll, you will review what went right during the month, what went wrong during the month, where can I grow, and how can I shift. So I've just given you a quick overview of how to use your planner during um, the month on a day-to-day -day basis. You also, by the way, if you're the kind of, you already have a planner that you absolutely love, but you, you wanted for some reason to buy the Magic Makers planner, you can use your planner to write morning intentions and afternoon gratitudes. You can use this planner and playbook as your, um, your gratitude journal. It works beautifully as an intention setting and gratitude uh, making journal if you want to do it that way and then use your regular schedule or your phone or whatever to do your scheduling. So that's what I have for you today. This is a 10 minute video, all kinds of information in there. If you have questions about using your planner, uh, simply reach out. Tam at choosebigchange.com. You're also welcome to comment on this video. So there you go. I hope you have a lot of fun with your planner. Tell your friends about it. It's still available. Choosebigchange.com slash magic dash makers dash planner. There you go. Have a fabulous day.